everyone. Welcome to TechSart Studio. My name is Shama and I do blog printing. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to prepare printing paste for blog printing. Basically, I am into this business from last 3-4 years and I have visited quite a lot of blog printers myself. But it seems like every blog printer have their own methodology for it. Uh, here is the method I'm sharing with you as I think is most uh, convenient and economic. Actually, we get ready binder in the market, but it is too expensive. The basic ingredient what we need to prepare printing paste is water actually. Three steps to prepare printing paste. One is to prepare uh, the binder and the second one is to actually add the pigment. So. Let's get started. Now, this is my studio. This is the printing table. Now, let me show you the chemicals which we require to prepare printing block. So, the basic ingredient is this. This is the binder. Like the full binder. This is like uh, semi-solid and uh, the same binder, this is in liquid form. We can use both. Uh, this is thickener. Um, all these chemicals we can uh, uh, either find it online or you can go to any textile chemical shop and you can ask for this. And the final is this fixer. And clean colors. Well, these are water soluble pigment dyes. Blocks. These are hand carved wooden blocks which we are going to use for block printing. This is uh, the binder uh, which we have prepared. Okay, this is the consistency what we need. So, this is a little thick. This is actually good for silk fabric printing. If we are doing it on thick fabric like cotton or linen. Uh, we want this to be thin. We can add some more water and make it thin. So let's learn how to prepare this. Now, water. See, here I have taken 2 liters of uh, water. I have used the measuring jar. Uh, this is water, 2 liters. And for 2 liters of water, we need 200 grams of binder, which is this. And we need 60 ml of thickener, which is this. Taken it from this box. Let's start mixing them together. This is the water binder. We can put it at once. Okay. Carefully add binder little by little. I usually use these painting knives uh, for uh, you know mixing and uh, measuring properly. So it is more convenient than our spoons. And also, uh, we can use uh, a grinder, you know, having a separate jar for mixing these. Uh, we can also use that. So, we need to mix this thoroughly without any lumps. Mix it very well. And now it's time to add thickener. So one thing we need to be very careful about thickener is we have to add this little by little okay, till we get the required consistency. Can you help me? Like this, little by little, we need to add. We need to mix it well, really well, because adding uh, this little by little will uh, differ in thickness or the density of uh, the binder. See, after adding this much, thank you. Give the proper mix. We need it to be a little more thick. So I'm adding a little more thicker. Good. 
that we're missing from here. Here you can see the paste is becoming thicker. Now you can see it. Zoom. See, it is thick. You need to keep mixing it. You need to keep mixing it. Because the thickener is heavy, it tends to sit at the bottom. So we don't want that to happen. You need to mix. If you are using a grinder or a mixer jar, this is not a problem. Uh, it gets automatically mixed, but uh, because we are doing it manually today, it will take a bit of time. See? You can see this is thickening little by little. Hmm. If you want, we can use little more of this uh, because for adding the thickener, there is no particular rule. As I said, if the fabric is uh, because for adding the thickener, there is no particular rule. As I said, if the fabric is uh, silk, uh, we want it to be thick. Uh, you know, the paste has to be thick. We need to add more of. Yeah, please, please keep mixing. Anyway, this is my son Kabir. Yeah. He love mixing this. Uh, so, so, as I said before, uh, if we are printing it on cotton, uh, we have to add uh, a little less thickener. And if it is silk, we need it to be a little more thick. Uh, so, I think we are almost there. We are getting the consistency what we require. See, even after mixing it thoroughly, it will take uh, like half an hour to... One hour to settle down. See. Hmm. See, we are almost there. This binder, we can store this for months and uh, maybe for one or two years. Uh, but once we mix this with the pigment and fixer, within eight hours of time, we have to use this. Otherwise, it won't give good color fastness. So, I am taking a little binder into the bowl. This is the amount of binder or printing paste we require to print one sari, uh, which is five and a half meters. Uh, so now I'm adding pigment to this. So I want black pigment. So see, I'm just adding a little bit of pigment. This varies actually uh, because now I'm mixing it uh, uh, black color. So I'm just taking it like this. Uh, uh, otherwise, see it's like percentage on weight of the binder we need to weigh this binder and then we have to take the percentage like 1%, 2%, 3% on weight of the uh, binder according to our need of colors like if you want dark color shade then we have to add more percentage if you want light color then we can add less percentage of pigment if normally it's 3, 4 or 5% of dye what we use added pigment to our binder and now it's time to add the fixing fixer fixing agent so this one this like we normally add three percent okay not more than three percent actually two percent or one one and a half percent is also fine so if just few drops of this printing uh, fixer yeah this is enough if we add more of this then there are chances that it might get uh, like it might damage the fabric what we are printing so it's always very important to keep that in mind uh, we shouldn't add um, in a, not more than three percent of this uh, fixer so once uh, binder pigment and fixer is uh, like added uh, we need to give it a proper mix and then we have to keep this aside for 10 to 15 minutes for it to settle down, you know, to mix it uh, really well. And then we can prepare for printing. Our printing paste is ready. Uh, whatever the size of our block, see, if you are using this block, I need a sponge or a bed which is like at least 1 1 inch bigger than its size in all the four directions. And now, on this piece of sponge, I am applying this printing paste. You have to be generous while uh, uh, you know, applying it on the sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Then, 
using a squeezer we can spread this thank you see like this we have to spread it sponge has to be literally like filled with this ink the small pores which are there in the sponge should be filled with this printing paste so in such way we have to prepare the egg this is called ink bed okay, both the sides we can apply it front as well as back side of it see here also I'm adding paint and spreading it spreading it so our ink bed is ready see evenly we need to apply the ink uh, our next video, I will show you how exactly the printing process is done on the sari or any uh, fabric for that matter. Uh, so, all the block printers out there who are interested in block printing, I hope you have liked and learned something from this video. And uh, uh, please do give me your feedback and uh, thank you very much for watching our video.